Hi everybody, Colleen from Millie Peas here. I have a really fun project for you. This is Karen Montgomery's mitten gift card holder. And it's a really fun pattern to make and a really, it, it makes a cute little um, gift card holder. And you can also make a larger size and put other kinds of gifts in it. So let me show you how to do that. So the pattern asks you to uh, use freezer paper to create your your pattern. Um, that's a great way to do it. If you like freezer paper, go for it. I prefer to use a template plastic. And of course, today I didn't have any template plastic. So the good news is I found the this plastic page protector in my desk drawer, and I'm using that for my template plastic. So I simply laid this on top of my pattern, okay? I traced each mitten with a Sharpie, the, the large one and the small one, and cut them out. And then I, I did take a, a, a little sponge and a little soap, and I washed the edges of these because even though Sharpie is supposed to be permanent, it sometimes will rub off of uh, plastic and it'll happen at the worst time, the worst possible time. So, all right, the next step then is, I mean, I'm going to use the larger template just to show you the, the steps. So I'm going to lay my template onto the fabric and I'm going to trace this and I've got two pieces of fabric wrong sides together they could be right sides together it doesn't matter as long as you're using fabric uh, you're you'll have a left hand and a right hand when you're finished so I'll trace that cut it out right on the line and, and then I will get I'll have two mittens that look just like this aren't they cute my first step, and this is a genius assembly, is to stitch about a one inch seam on the back side of your mitten. So if you're looking at the template, it would be this side of your mitten right here. So one, one inch from here to here using a quarter inch seam allowance. Step two is to press that seam allowance, left or right, doesn't matter much press that seam allowance. Now, um, I cut my cuff fabric for this large mitten three and a quarter inches wide by eight and a quarter inches long. And I'm going, the, the next step then is to stitch the cuff fabric to this pair of mittens using a quarter inch seam allowance. Super easy. Um, the, the next step is uh, uses steam a seam, which again is a genius assembly technique. So I, I pressed, well in this case, a generous quarter inch hem on my, um, on my cuff. I ironed the steam a seam to it, and now I'm going to, um, I, I, I'm going to peel the paper off my steam a seam. course I am. I've done this a thousand times. Okay, so pulling the paper off and now I'm going to line up the fold of my cuff with the stitching line of my seam allowance. And the wonderful thing about steam a seam is it will hold in place but if you need to reposition it you can. So now my mitten looks just like this. All right, I'm going to go over to the iron and press this. And I'm almost done. The final step is, and so how nice this is, all finished. The final step is, and it, I'm gonna trim this because it looks like my cuff is a little bit longer than my mitten. Give that a little bit of a trim. I'm going to put my mitten right sides together and I don't need to stitch here because I already have but I'm going and I pin this because you really want this to stay in place and because you're using uh, you're making you're doing curvy lines my advice is to go slow and use a shorter than usual stitch length so I won't bore you with all of the pinning but um, I do a fair amount of pinning so that this will come out just right. So now I'll stitch this with a quarter inch seam allowance. 
clip the curves. So I'm a clip in this notch here and a clip along all the curvy edges and then turn the mitten right side out. I'll show you the cur the the small mitten with all of those that uh, those clipped seams. Okay, so you can see that I've clipped along here, so I get a nice curve. I don't get folds and and square looking. Um, and there's my, so all around a nice clip in the in the thumb area, and then all around. Turn this out, uh, right side out and give it a, a kind of a push with your finger or with your turning tool and you I like actually using my finger because I can get kind of a nice rounded edge here except for the thumb I've got to push the thumb out okay there's my little thumb now I'll give this a good press uh, I added this the ribbon I I let me untie it I actually mis machine stitched this on here because my motto is uh, if you can machine stitch something do so I machine stitch this on here tied this in a bow and then I'm done so that is the mitten gift card holder this is the little one and the large one will look like this if you wanted to make it bigger you could do that too a um, couple other ideas for these would be to make uh, a lot of these in different fabrics or even just alternate your stripe with your caps and make a garland when that would be such a cute garland put candies or candy canes or gift cards in there what fun that's the mitten gift card holder have fun with that thanks everybody